Welcome back everybody, I'm Ernest with Upfix, and today behind me we have the BMW 328 2007. I'm going to be showing you how to remove the FRM3 footwell module. This affects the 3 Series from 2006 all the way to 2013. Uh, also similar year ranges of the 1 Series BMW, X5, X6, and even the Mini Coopers. Some of the symptoms of a failing footwell FRM3 module is the power windows don't work. So when you press on them, either they don't work at all or work intermittently. The headlights will not power on or they work intermittently as well and also the churning signals. And if you also have the corresponding codes, OBD diagnostic trouble codes for those, chances are it's the FRM3 module itself. The FRM3 service repair is going to help you, so let's get started. Before we remove the FRM3 footwell module, we want to make sure that the negative terminal on the battery is disconnected. Popular place for BMWs to put the batteries in the trunk on the passenger side, and we'll just simply disconnect the negative terminal and get started. Regardless whether you have the coupe, sedan, or the convertible version, um, there's a little bit of a few differences, but primarily the battery should be on the passenger side of the trunk. Uh, on this convertible, it has this plastic piece. We want to pick it up and just push it up here. And then as you can see, I've already removed a few plastic pieces. So this plastic trim folds over the top and it has these plastic screws that you use a flathead. You just simply move it 90 degrees, they all pop out. And then you have this battery cover right here at the bottom. And this has also been already removed. So you can just take this out and now you should have access to your battery and the negative terminals near the tail light. All you need is a 10 millimeter wrench and loosen it up. The FRM3 is located in the kick panel on the driver's side. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the rocker panel plastic trim. And then there's two Phillips right here. And this removes, and then this entire kick panel plastic trim cover pops off. And you'll see the FRM3 footwell module exposed right here. It's being held mounted by two screws and a plug. You really just need essential tools to remove the FRM3. Uh, for the rocker panel, you can do it by hand, but if it doesn't go out easily, you can use a flathead screwdriver. Uh, to remove the hood release latch, a Phillips, the bottom dashboard cover with the hex wrench, and then the FRM3 itself with a socket wrench. I'm going to remove this interior rocker panel tr plastic trim piece with my hands. I'm going to start off on the back, just pop it like so, and gently this thing comes off. If one of these falls off, uh, you can just slide them back on there and then uh, reinstall it and just make sure that they're all still here and present. If one of them is missing, that's okay. As long as they're not stuck back in here, you want to make sure it's installed on the plastic trim itself. Next, we want to disengage this hood latch release lever. All you need is a Phillips, and it's right here. And then there's a second one right here. Remove this OBD2 plastic cover. And then there's two plastic fasteners holding it in place, one here and one at the top over here. And there's also a harness plug that goes into this trunk release button and so when you take it out just make sure to disconnect that and you can just pry it with your hands and you pop this side now we're gonna pop this plastic fastener here and just kind of right there and then just pull towards yourself and as you can see I've already removed this trunk release button and if you use something sharp as you can see there's a little groove in there so you just want to hold on it and it'll disengage this plug that goes into that button. I'm using the 764 uh, Imperial uh, hex wrench. You can use the metric equivalent and there's three screws right here holding this bottom dash cover. Once you have the three screws out, you can go ahead and pry on this and it's holding on this right side right here and just pull towards yourself gently. And there's a plug right here with the plastic tab lever. Disconnect that, and there's another small wire right here, and you just simply pry on it, and it'll come right out. So the FRM3 itself is held on by two washers here, and they're 10 millimeters. Uh, the bottom one's fairly easy to get to, but the top one is right up, far up there, which is why we removed that dashboard cover, and you basically just have to feel it. So we're gonna start out with the easier one first. To make it a little bit easier to get your hand in here, you can also remove this OBD2 port 
and it's held in by two Phillips screws. So I've disengaged this OBD2 off this plastic fastener here. Just makes it a little bit easier, it's optional to remove and easier to access the harness plugs and the FRM3 module itself. You'll see the first plug is in the front and then the two plugs, the large ones, are in the back. It's easier to disconnect the one in the front first. There's a little plastic groover here, you just press on it and then the gray sliding arm should basically go up like so and then put your thumb on it and simultaneously the plug will be pushed out and now you can disengage that and the back ones you can do with your hand and it's a similar process just have to access it so I've disengaged these two large plugs by hand and it's a little tricky to access but then you can push those out and the FRM module will slide right out and there you have it Repairing your original FRM3 footwell module is always recommended over replacing because replacing it can be a very expensive solution as well as there can be delays from dealership because they don't always have it in stock and sometimes they have to find it from a different warehouse if they even have it at all. Um, here at Upfix, our expert repair technicians will look at it, test it and repair it and keep you updated every step of the way. And if you have any questions, we'd be more than happy to help you. And hopefully you found this video helpful. We'll see you next time.